Beyond the three dimensions of space and one of time, what else might there be? And how do we even begin to imagine it? Albert Einstein demonstrated in his special theory of relativity in 1905 that space is intimately tied to time via the cosmic speed limit of light, and hence we live in a universe with four dimensions of space-time. Because we are unable to detect these four dimensions, we attribute motion in the presence of a massive body, such as a planet, to a force of gravity rather than this curvature. However, scientists and astronomers have long been intrigued by the quirks of our solar system. Dark matter is at the top of their list of topics of interest. Although multiple events have been discovered by various scientists, the riddle of dark matter remains mostly unresolved. A team of scientists exploring dark matter recently discovered a gateway leading to the fifth dimension in order to satisfy their curiosity and this discovery is destined to revolutionize how we view the universe forever. How did the scientists uncover the portal and how will this find influence our world? Join us as we investigate how scientists recently reported the discovery of a portal to the fifth dimension. Dark matter has long confounded physicists and astronomers. Despite taking up the majority of our universe, scientists have failed to fully grasp its enigma. Scientists believe that the discovery of the fifth dimension may explain the 75% of dark matter that has yet to be seen. Even though we don't know much about it, the concept of dark matter underpins much of our assumptions about the physical cosmos. Scientists believe this because dark matter makes up the majority of our universe and is regarded as a pinch hitter that helps scientists comprehend how gravity works. They assume that without the X factor of dark matter, certain features would disintegrate or fall apart. Even so, dark matter has no effect on the particles we see and feel. This implies that it must also have other unique features, which is why more research on dark matter was required. A group of physicists from Johannes Gutenberg University in Mainz, Germany, conducted a study in order to learn more about dark matter and its properties. This research suggested a notion concerning unidentified particles traveling around in a secret fifth dimension. They argued that the gravity of this particle could express itself in our four-dimensional world as the extra gravity that we now attribute to dark matter in their study. The discovery, which was published in the European Physical Journal C, argues that the particle can provide a convincing explanation for dark matter. This phenomenon has never been explicitly researched, yet it is thought to account for the majority of the universe's total mass. According to the researchers, particles could travel across the whole universe, including the fifth dimension that has just been discovered. For decades, scientists have questioned the four dimensions of our cosmos, which are known as the three dimensions of space, up and down, left and right, back and forth, and one dimension of time. Scientists' intensive research yielded 5D equations, which show that the implications and extra dimension would have on the universe and potentially reality itself. The authors of this study, Adrian Carmona, Javier Castellano Ruiz, and Matthias Neubert, stated that the discovery of the fifth dimension was not what they expected. The researcher's initial goal for this research was to explain the possible origins of fermion particles in systems with a warped additional dimension. However, as the scientists investigated 5D equations and how they relate to fermion particle masses, they discovered a new sketched out scalar. A scalar is a physical quantity defined primarily by its magnitude. This newly developed scalar was related with fermion particles and is said to be extremely similar to the Higgs boson particle and the Higgs field. They discovered that the new scale of field had a distinct and intriguing behavior along with extra dimension. We believe the existence of these heavy particles would join the visible matter that we know and that we have studied in detail the constituents of dark matter, they said in a statement after making this finding. We believe this based on the assumption that dark matter is composed of fundamental fermions which live in the extra dimension. The authors describe the heavy particle as a possible new messenger to the dark sector in their study. Even the abundance of dark matter in the universe, as discovered by astrophysical investigations, is explained by their theory. It enables more intriguing approaches to identify the elements of dark matter which would be accomplished by taking a detour into the extra dimension to obtain hints about the dimension's mechanics at a very early point in the history of our universe when dark matter was generated. 
Matthias Neubert, the study's lead researcher, issued a statement announcing their discovery. After years of probable confirmations of the team's theoretical predictions, he stated that they are now confident in the mechanism uncovered by him and his team. We are confident, he added, because the mechanism discovered would make dark matter accessible to forthcoming experiments due to properties of new interaction between ordinary matter and dark matter. It would be mediated by our proposed particle and can be calculated accurately within our theory. Therefore, we hope the new particle may be discovered first through its interactions with the dark sector. Although developing a hypothesis about the particle and its masses is only the beginning, or to put it another way, the easy part, these scientists must now seek for it. A Nobel Prize winning discovery of the Higgs boson was detected by the Large Hadron Collider, the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator. The Higgs boson was discovered in 2012, but its idea was first postulated in 1964. Unfortunately, because this new particle is too heavy for present colliders, the Large Hadron Collider would not be large or powerful enough to detect it. Regardless, the researchers that proposed this study are crossing their fingers that the party can be spotted more indirectly. They believe that this new particle could have a significant impact on the cosmic history of our universe. They also believe it may generate gravitational waves that can be detected using a gravitational wave detector. Speaking of dark matter, Hubble Space Telescope investigations have revealed a missing component in dark matter hypotheses. During a recent survey of 11 galaxy clusters, astronomers discovered that cluster galaxies emit 10 times more gravitational lensing effects than cosmological simulations predict. As a result, scientists examined the phenomenon and concluded that dark matter halos are larger and denser than predicted by the current cosmological model. Fritz Zwicky, a Swiss astronomer at the California Institute of Technology, was monitoring the Coma Galaxy Cluster in 1933 when he observed something strange. According to the assessment of visible mass, the separate galaxies were moving too fast for the cluster to remain complete. Only a small quantity of unseen matter could shed light on the tremendous gravitational pull that holds galaxies together. Following that encounter, Scientists investigated the phenomena and labelled the matter dark due to its inability to emit or absorb any type of light. Its presence could only be detected or revealed by gravitational interaction with regular stuff. More research has been conducted on this so-called dark matter since then. Observations from many research suggest that this strange phenomenon represents a significant part of the universe's matter, accounting for around 75% of the universe's stuff. It is referred to as cold dark matter in the conventional cosmological model. Cold dark matter is thought to be made up of large interacting particles, but they are weak and their physical nature is unknown. Dark matter halos that are gravitationally bound would form a hierarchical structure in this CDM paradigm. These dark matter halos would develop from the most enormous systems merging with smaller ones, Large dark matter halos would contain smaller substructures in the form of embedded subhalos as they form together in this hierarchical structure. Galaxy clusters are comparable in this regard. They too have huge dark matter halos containing hundreds of galaxies grouped in subhalos. The evolution of these galaxy clusters with the interaction of luminous and dark matter is meticulously observed and theoretically researched using cosmological models. These observations and comparisons allow scientists to put the mainstream cosmological model to the test. Galaxy clusters are the most essential structures that hold our universe together. Their total mass can exceed a quadrillion solar mass. When viewed via Einstein's general theory of relativity, their enormous mass diverts the light of distant galaxies, sometimes deforming and splitting them into many pictures. Gravitational lensing is the method of seeing these phenomena. Scientists can use gravitational lensing to determine the spatial distribution of both ordinary and dark matter in a cluster court with a high density of mass. The principle of gravitational lensing is not a difficult procedure to understand. All scientists need to do is reverse engineer the observed image distortions to determine the mass distributions of the lens. Tens of photographed galaxies were lensed by 11 enormous galaxy clusters recently seen with the Hubble Space Telescope. 
Cluster lensing and supernova survey with Hubble and Hubble Frontier Fields were used to conduct the observation. Astronomers used the multi-unit spectroscopic explorer placed on the Very Large Telescope in Chile to improve their capacity to detect the entire distribution on the smallest scales. They used a telescope to measure the velocity dissipation of stars in three clusters of galaxies. These clusters are Max J1206-0847, Max J0416.1-2403, and Abel S1063. Because the stars operate under the influence of gravity, their momentums are a proxy for the subhalo masses. By combining gravitational lensing with galaxy kinematics observations from MUSE, a robust wide field and an optical integral field spectrograph, the scientists were able to obtain high resolution mass maps of each galaxy cluster. These maps also demonstrate that these cluster galaxies are surrounded by massive dark matter subhalos. Images of distant objects distorted by foreground galaxy clusters have angular separations of several tens of arc seconds, owing to subhalos inside each cluster acting as smaller scale gravitational lenses nested within the giant lenses. If these subhalos are large enough and dense enough, they may cause additional local strong lensing events on smaller scales with separations of less than a few arc seconds. Scientists' lensing mass reconstructions resulted in these events, known as galaxy-galaxy strong lensing GGSL events, in each of the detected clusters. Scientists then compared the observed cluster mass distributions to 25 hypothetical galaxy clusters that developed in the mainstream cosmological model. This comparison indicated that on the smallest scales, cosmological simulations do not depict the same dark matter concentration level. This is why they produce more than 10 times the number of galaxy-galaxy strong lensing events that we see. These findings show that there are certain aspects of the universe that we do not yet understand. As a result, the observed number of GGSL events contradicts theoretical expectations regarding the standard cosmological model. It could potentially be a problem with the simulation methodologies, or we could have made incorrect assumptions regarding the properties of dark matter. Let us know what you think about dark matter in the comments section.